This video is brought to you by Artistworks. Artistworks are part of TrueFire Studios and they offer direct access to master musicians through their innovative online learning platform. Partnering with iconic musicians, they've crafted decades of industry experience into guided paths of online lessons. Crucially, there's an option to get personal feedback tailored specific to your playing via their unique video exchange. Get direct guidance towards your playing goals. You can use the code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of Artistworks courses. good friend Jim Holman if he had a shovel because I need to bury something under the patio and he said actually you can borrow this um, cheers Jim so this thing is kind of insane this is an Ibanez M80M and you're probably aware of this but there's a band from Sweden called Meshuggah and these were kind of the guys who popularized the thing that would lead to becoming sort of like gent um, and that style of music altogether. so they were kind of there alongside Tool and early Meshuga kind of sounds a little bit like Metallica as well. But in terms of pushing this kind of more industrial, heavier kind of metal, which is kind of, yeah, insane. Right, this guitar is an eight string guitar. This is the second eight string that I've actually played. I had for a very short amount of time a Strandberg Bowden eight string. Uh, I just, I can't play an eight string, it turns out. Um, or I don't want to put in the time to learn to play an eight string, one of the two. Um, but so specs on this thing, it's got a 15 inch radius, so super flat. 
It's also a super, super wide kind of cricket bat type feeling thing. It feels like a really thin um, base neck, really. Um, you know, something like you might get on a five string, six string base. Five piece neck construction. Uh, this doesn't have the hip shot tuners. The Japanese model does. Um, this has the same bridge, I think. Basically, it's all the hassle of a Floyd Rose with none of the gains. Um, so you've got a locking, double locking. You've got a nut up here. You've got this thing down here. I think it's a baritone scale length. Then you've got a Lundgren pickup. Uh, so I used to be on the John Petrucci forums and I'd read things from folks like Misha Mansell or Bulb on there. And I think he was a fan of the Lundgren pickups. Um, and he had them in some of his carving guitars, I think, and maybe even his eight strings that he would go on to have as well. But essentially these, I think, are ceramic as well, which is unusual. Uh, tends to be that ceramic pickups are put in cheaper guitars. Obviously, this is a bit of a specialised pickup. Um, I think also bare knuckle makes some ceramic type stuff. I think the nail bomb might have been the, the pickup that I had in a bridge on a seven string back when I was a, a child still. Um, yeah, so it's really kind of difficult to play. And it sort of makes me think, you know, like there's this kind of thing about people playing like an entire genre on one string. Uh, it, it does, when you start playing it, it kind of throws off everything. And so even just like playing your basic sort of stuff, because you've got these two strings here that are throwing things off, you're kind of anchoring your visualization to this E here, or I do, I think, because this basically does just super destroy me. <laughs> the other thing about it is that I kind of tried to start this demo track um, off with something, you know, maybe not super typical of what might be played on an eight string, but it, the, the guitar is essentially a shovel, right? It, it just wants to do this sort of thing. And, you know, I'm not the, the heaviest player in the world, but when you plug it in, you play it, it's like, okay, it wants to do that sound. It's like a super, super specialized signature guitar, right? This is an ash body on this one. I believe the uh, more expensive model has like a neck through and has alder wings. So that's a slight difference, um, but it looks quite cool in person. Um, built in Indonesia, not finished perfectly. There's like some marks and stuff on it. These are quite expensive guitars. I think they're about 13 hundreds or PRS SE prices as we call that now. Um, and it comes with a soft case, presumably because they don't want to design a case specifically for this, this one guitar. I'm not sure how different the specs are to the normal, um, Ibanez RG eight strings because they make a few of those as well, right? But yeah, plugging it in for the first time, playing it, it's just a bit of a, like a slap in the face, like, well, you're gonna play heavy on this thing or, or you're just not gonna play anything on it. So it's really hard to bend on it as well. Um, like the string tension is pretty huge. Um, so you can't really bend it as well as it being like that flat thing, you get up here, your thumbs all the way back here, your your hand position is in such a, a manner that it's really difficult to bend. So that was tricky. Um, but yeah, I, let me know your thoughts. What's your favorite eight string guitar if you've got one? I think the, the Strandberg felt a little bit more ergonomic, like less of a unit. Um, I don't remember that feeling quite like this to play and obviously it was quite a lot lighter and smaller as well but I do think this looks really cool. Uh, you might see me using this in an upcoming demo at some point because there's, there's something on the way that might warrant using this sort of thing. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you seen anyone playing an eight string doing something slightly different with it? I can't remember how many strings Charlie Hunter uses. Um, I think also Lenny Barreau used to play, I think, a seven string, but in terms of the eight string, it's pretty much, I think, been almost always used within the, the gent genre, which is, I don't know, maybe they could be more versatile guitars than this. Only got the one pickup position, obviously, so basically all I did was just set them up to full. Uh, in some ways, for the clean tones, it'd be really nice to have, I think, a, a neck position, because that's, that's where I live for clean tones, but... Yeah, uh, a very interesting experience picking this up and playing it. If you want this kind of vibe,
but without the, the awkwardness of having two extra strings. I really think a baritone guitar, uh, so like a normal six string baritone, kind of bridges that gap really nicely and doesn't feel like you're playing an entirely different instrument. So that might be the route that I would go down personally because the baritone thing it feels more like when you're playing with a capo or something like that where your, your stuff that you normally do still works but you've just got an extended range. It's a bit more like that versus this, which does feel like an entirely different instrument and feels like it'd be quite a bit of work to, to get kind of the visualization aspect of the fretboard and some different things, or you just write some stuff instead of trying to improvise it like me, I guess. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried one of these? Have you played an eight string? Have you got on with an eight string? Have you heard of players that are doing interesting things on eight strings? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I guess Tosin Abasi might be at the top of the, the list on in terms of eight string players that have actually got quite a lot out of all eight strings rather than just this one. Cheers for stopping by. And um, yeah, if you want those tones, I'll try and put them in the Gone Road folder because there, there might be <laughs> something someone wants there, I guess. Cheers.